So this is Leo Cabernet Sauvignon Napa Valley, and they call it Blueprint. Um, half bottle. How convenient, right? So next time you're dining solo, <laughs> half bottles are great for that uh, weeknights. But anyway, this wine is a wine with uh, incredible legacy behind it. Robin Lale founded the winery, and she's the great grandniece of Gustav Niebaum, who was, of course, the one who founded Inglenook Winery right in the heart of Napa Valley back in the late 1800s. And her grandfather, John Daniel, was passed on to. She was also one of the partners in Dominus when it started, as was the winemaker for this wine, um, superstar winemaker Philippe Melka, originally came over to, to work on Dominus, and now he's got his hand on so many of the top Napa cabs. Um, clearly, he's got uh, a magic touch when it comes to that. So, amazing legacy for this wine, and just something really, really special. They're sourcing the grapes from a lot of different vineyards in Napa, really prime vineyards. Bringing together um, all those different grapes with all their slightly different nuances, right? Everything fermented separately and they go into a blend. They're aging in 50% new oak for 18 months on this. So, deep, deep color, wow. Yeah, I'm already getting the, uh, the black plums on the nose, wow. Black plums, black cherry, just a hint of, um, sort of a floral note. There's a little, maybe a little violet, maybe a little herbal note, and a little touch of, uh, a little hint of vanilla in there also. That's pretty. Let's try it. <laughs> this one's really mouth filling. Rich, kind of opulent on the palate. It's got nice fine grain tannins, which give it some a really nice structure and a good balance. And the fruit's intense. It's black plums, black cherries, some of those little hints of vanilla, little hints of sort of um, little dusting of herbs and spices in here. I even get a little bit of like exotic spice on this. Definitely hanging around long on the finish. So, I mean, you know, wines like this, they're, they're so appealing right now. And especially if you pair them up with some, you know, big flavored foods. But these are ideal wines for putting in the cellar, letting them unwind for a few years and really get all that extra nuance and intensity. Anyway, this is one you shouldn't miss. Happy drinking.